On a Friday, and a Fox News alert on the state of an important American city, the Motor City has gone flat. Detroit, Michigan, the town that gave birth to the nation's auto industry, once drove the American economy, is now the largest city in American history to go bankrupt. And what a sad sight it is to see there. Welcome, everybody. I'm Bill Hemmer, live in New York City on a Friday. And Martha, hello to London and hello to you. Hello there, Bill. Good morning. I'm Martha McCallum, live in London. So Detroit is now $16 billion in debt. They've got rampant mismanagement, a shrinking population there. And the governor, Rick Snyder, approved this plan. He insists that there really is just no other way. No, this is the, there were no other viable options. And I view this as an opportunity to say, let's stop the decline. This is a situation that's been a, a period of decline of 60 years in Detroit. And it's resulted in $18 billion of debt that the city can't afford to pay. And more importantly, it's resulted in services that are not good nor appropriate for the wonderful people of Detroit. What a statement this is. Stuart Varney now, anchor of Varney Company, Fox Business Network. Good morning, Stuart. Nope. Who takes the hit now? 20,000 retired city workers will ultimately take a very big hit. Their checks will continue for now, for the foreseeable future, but in, within a reasonable period of time, they will take a massive hit. They're owed $9 billion. They're not going to get it. And creditors, the people who lent Detroit money, up to 100,000 people, they're not going to get their money back. Maybe 10 cents on the dollar. Well, I'm reading nearly $10 billion for those who lent money and they only get a, a portion of that. It is really remarkable when you only get a part of that back. Yep. Detroit is one city. Does this go elsewhere? It very probably will because other cities which are in the same financial precarious position will look at Detroit and say, well, you've got the escape hatch. Our problem is city pensions. We can't pay them. If we go the Detroit route and declare bankruptcy, maybe we can get a handle on it. So other cities are likely to follow suit. Well, uh, take us back five years. I mean, 2008 and 2009, you had the auto bailout. Yep. And it may have helped the unions. It may have helped the car companies. Did it do anything for the city of Detroit in the end? Apparently not. Not the city of Detroit. And the question now is, Bill, will President Obama step in with another bailout for the unions? It is unions who are owed $9.2 billion in these retiree pensions. Will he step in with a bailout there? We don't know the answer you to think that that's, yet. You think that's possible? It is possible. The president says, the White House says, they are monitoring the situation. They are concerned about this. A bailout is not out of the question. What do you think is the lesson here, Stuart, as we watch this unfold? You cannot tax to the max. You cannot set up a cradle-to-grave welfare system. And you cannot pay lavish pensions if your economy does not grow. Detroit shrank, shrunk, whatever. Mm -hmm. You cannot pay those pensions. You got to remember time too when all these deals came together in the 1950s and 60s. The industry was booming. It's been anything but since. Stewart, check you out at 9:20. Okay, and FBN Stewart Varney there on that. As we mentioned, part of Detroit's financial problems can be attributed to a shrinking population, left entire neighborhoods practically empty. Population now hovers around 700,000, a level that city has not seen since the year 1910. 103 years ago, down from a high of nearly 2 million people decades ago. Martha. And union roots in Detroit are deep, and that's contributed to the city's financial challenges. Right now, Detroit has 48 employee unions. The city's long-term liabilities, including underfunded pensions, are more than $14 billion in the hole. And the long-term projected cost of health care for city retirees has ballooned to around $7 billion. Stuart mentioned this too, Martha. Bankruptcies like Detroit are rare, but they are on the increase. 53 cities, towns, counties, or villages have filed for Chapter 9 bankruptcy going back to 1980. 28% of those have been filed since the year 2008. Stockton, California held the distinction of the largest U.S. city to file for bankruptcy. That was before Detroit, of course. Stockton filed in June of 2012, claiming $700 million in debt.